basically trying to eat nutritious and healthy and trying to get back into our best shape. Um, I got some kale today, some spinach, and we're gonna be making a sous vide, kale and spinach soup. It's gonna have some baked chickpeas on top that are crispy, and a little bit of bacon, because I, I can never cut that out. First, we're gonna make our chickpeas. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on it, just to cover them. Put a little bit of cumin on that, paprika. A little bit of cayenne pepper, and a pinch of salt. Mix it up. And then we're going to bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes until they're nice and crispy. Next, we're going to prep our kale and our spinach. We're going to sous vide this. The good thing about sous vide our kale and spinach is you're not going to be slaving over the stove in an open fire and it's really hot outside and your house is going to be hot and it's going to be sweaty and it's going to be a mess. Um, so we have our Nami Kuwata bath set to 85 degrees Celsius and we're just going to break up the kale, break up the spinach, put it in our bag with some other things and seal it up and, and cook it. So here I have two bunches of kale and about one bunch of, of spinach, it's about 12 ounces. Um, I'm going to start putting them into my bag. I'm going to put in two cloves of chopped garlic. A little bit of lemon juice. A cup of water and a cup of vegetable broth. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. I have my two baggies of kale and spinach already sealed up. And I'm going to put it into the water bath. When you sous vide vegetables, um, it's below boiling point, so the vitamins and nutrients stay inside, but it still gets cooked. There's always a lot of air pockets with leafy greens, so sometimes your bag will float. I like to just wedge mine down with a spoon. Okay, and I'm also gonna brown some onions. like garlic, it's all infused in there, the, the broth and the, the spinach and the kale and everything. So I'm going to put it in my blender with the caramelized onions.